welcome to Bytes of Code. In this video, we're going to add a script to our personal assistant to like songs on Spotify. So our personal assistant has the ability to open EXEs. We integrated some operating system commands like searching Google, or even we can turn off the computer. Uh, we've actually added different versions of OpenAI, GPT-3 and ChatGPT, GPT-3.5 Turbo, We've also incorporated a little bit of a co-pilot voice where we can use GPT to click on an area and write code for us, depending on what we say. And lastly, we've been able to use this personal assistant in order to play music, to actually use Spotify, play music, start music, pause music. And so next is liking music. That's the next portion that we're gonna be working on is liking a song. And the reason this script is a little more cool than the other ones is because this one will show how to open up Spotify to be completely controlled through this personal assistant or through your voice assistant. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the like song is going to be the name of our file, like song.py. Uh, this is going to be pretty close to pause and play, pause play music.py. This is the one that we use in order to just locate the Spotify exe and we basically press space to pause the music or space to play the music. This is going to be really similar because we're going to use the same modules here, Pi Auto GUI, Time, PSUtil, Win32 GUI, Win32 Process, and Pi Win Auto. And with a combination of these, we'll be able to see how we can control Spotify. Uh, this is going to be our first function, get Spotify window title. Again, this is the exact copy of from uh, Pop Play Music pause play music. This function allows us to actually get the correct Spotify EXE. If we look at our Spotify, we see that there are many different types of Spotify.exes kind of running and these are all doing their own little different thing. So we want to make sure to get the actual correct Spotify.exe and this function is the one that helps us do that. Uh, more explanation on this function specifically in my Last video, the one where we toggle Spotify to pause or play music. I go into detail on this function and specifically even every line in order to really understand what's the purpose of this callback function or global variable. Next in our like song.py, we're gonna have the program name. So this is actually where our program, we can say starts uh, because we've created this function, but we haven't really used it yet. So nothing has changed, we can say. Uh, line 23, we have the program name. Uh, also line 26, we have a timeout. This is just making sure this is not hung in our system forever because this is the same thing that we're doing over here. We have a program name and a timeout is in our pause play music.py. And we have a small Boolean is open. This is just gonna make sure to tell us if the program is open, if Spotify is available. If not, then we just say, hey, Spotify is not open. So we go through every process and we're just looking for the name Spotify to exe. Of course, we will find a lot of them, um, but we'll handle that a little bit later. So we do a for loop, double check, hey, is Spotify to exe in this list of processes? If it is, then we know we're ready to go search for the correct Spotify to exe. Set is open to true. And we don't have to continue to use this for loop anymore. We're just gonna go ahead and break out of it. Uh, but if Spotify is not open at all, we do not find the Spotify.exe, we go ahead and we exit our program. Now further down, if Spotify is open, uh, we know again the process name is Spotify.exe, this is what we're looking for. We do another small loop just to get, make sure to get all of the process IDs. So this loop specifically will be getting all of the process IDs for all of these Spotify to AXEs. So we're going to have a couple process IDs. These are the IDs associated with an EXE. And if you look at your services, you can kind of see what's going on where we have a process ID is connected to this service or this executable we can also say this process id is connected to this executable and so this is kind of just an id of figuring out what executable is what next we have this variable it's called app it's going to be from our application module and basically we're just creating a an object to connect to a window so now this app 
will be able to connect to our process. So doing that, we need to use this connect function and we do process equals your process ID. Now this could be one, two, three, four, five. That could be your process ID. Uh, but we don't know exactly what the ID is. That's why we use this spot of get Spotify window title. So get Spotify window title is returning us the correct process ID for this Spotify for this one Spotify process, this exe. We're getting this exact process ID because there are a list of them. And these are other things doing things in the background. These are executables running. These are processes, but uh, these are not the executables that's actually this window, not all of them. One of them is and that's what the purpose of this function is. We're getting the correct process ID, the correct ID in order to control that window. But once we do have that ID, all we do is we set set this to the uh, top window. So that would just be showing the window. And then we would be setting a small sleep. This is just going to make sure that we're not going too fast because we're going to be using Pi Auto GUI to press a specific keyboard combination. And let's take a look at this right now. Let's go ahead and run this. And we'll see Spotify pop up and towards the bottom left, we can see the like added to your like songs. And the last two lines is going to be make sure to get this as the top window, make sure that this Spotify window is focused and minimize it to get it out of the way. So that is our like song script. Now the cool thing with this script is because we're able to use hotkeys in order to control Spotify. If we go back to Spotify, uh, we do the question mark, we can get a list of keyboard shortcuts. In this case, we are doing alt shift B in order to like a song, but we can do many different, many different types of things just with keyboard shortcuts. We can even do navigation. We can go to playlist. Uh, we can go forward or back. We can skip songs. We can shuffle songs. I think it was repeat songs. So there are many different things that we can do with just the keyboard. So pretty much this opens the possibility of a full navigation with just the keyboard. And that opens up the possibility of full navigation with just the personal assistant or voice assistant. So in this case, we're just going to add the elif. Uh, we're going to say like song, sont, like song, and we're going to have a little speak liking song. And in this case, we're going to use our like song.py. This is going to execute the Python script inside this file. And with that, we have the ability to like and we can also consider it the ability to unlike because it's a shift key because it's a key command songs in Spotify. So with all that, that would be the end to our personal assistant. If you're interested in seeing anything else being added to this personal assistant, please leave a comment in the comment section and we can add it in. This is, has the ability to have tons more added to it. You just continue adding whatever you want to your voice assistant and you could grow this for as long as you like, you could have many more commands. So this is where I thought maybe would be a good stopping point. But if you have anything more you're thinking that might be cool to add the voice assistant, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys at the next video.